Hey guys, it's Mary. And I have another new product I wanted to share with you. And it's called Cloud Whip and it's by scrapbook.com. I picked this up when they released it and I think that was around Black Friday week. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm just now getting around to trying it out and I did a little uh, test on it. And so I wanted to show you if you um, haven't seen it before. Um, it is a mixed media modeling paste, but it's a softer, whippy um, texture. And it's easy to uh, add color to it with um, anything really. Um, I'm gonna, today I'm gonna use um, some liquid pearls. But of course, when scrapbook.com uh, released it, they use the pops of color. Um, you can use um, the distress stains. Um, you know, you can just try anything uh, and see. I did, when I was using it, I realized that because you're putting it in white, whatever color you have is going to soften up. So I actually used a um, pastel, uh, color um, and you could hardly tell that there were it, there was color when um, when you used it because it was mixed in um, so it comes in a nice size jar it's 12 ounces um, I will say that I've watched some videos and not every jar is created equal because um, the demo when they released it that I saw before I purchased it um, it seemed super soft uh, and creamy, kind of like marshmallow cream or whatever. Um, and then I've seen a video of somebody that was very chalky and thick. Uh, and I think mine is somewhere in the middle. Um, but I did make sure to put the cling wrap on because um, I've lost uh, I've lost way too many uh, jars of um, mousse uh, from tonic and various other kind of, um, you know, those kind of products. So, um, but my consistency, I think, is what it's supposed to be. Um, I mean, it, it moves really good. Um, and once you add some depending on what color, you know, what you're using to color it up. Um, it's gonna, you know, uh, thin it out, I guess you would wanna say. So, um, we're just gonna take and put some down. Uh, I'm, are you gonna use a six by six? I don't think I'm gonna need too much. So let's go with that for now. You know, tonics embellishment mousse, um, when it's right, um, it's um, it's real creamy, but I don't think it gives as much of a texture as this uh, would, but we'll see. Um, so I'm going to add some blue. I'm going to use this old um, stencil, six by six stencil from um, Crafters Companion that was several years old with the Enchanted Forest. Um, but it's called Droplets of Water. So I thought that would be perfect since I'm using blue. So I'm just going to take it, the stencil, and just tape it in a couple of places, just so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix. Let me make sure you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, oh, this is, what color is this? Royal Blue Liquid Pearls. So this doesn't come out as 
much as a pop uh, pops of color but let's see how much we need yeah so you're just gonna mix it all up to so get it the color the mix all mixed up and get it the shade you want I'm gonna add a little bit more get a little bit darker I am um, after I bought it I bought it one at for $12.99 because it was they were just releasing it and then they were out of stock for quite a while and I noticed the other day they have it in stock it's regular price at $25. I don't know that they'll ever sell it at that price, but that's what it says. But it is uh, $19.99 now. I think that's plenty. A um, couple of things that I learned was that you it does start to dry. So you want to get it on your project you want to get your stencil off your project and in water uh, quickly um, so that it doesn't uh, decide it wants to be permanent. All right, so I think that's good. I'm going to scrape this off. And then let's make sure that you can see. And then I'm just going to take it on the spatula and then bring it through. It also is thicker than like the embellishing mousse or the um, lunar paste. So see, I made too much again. I don't need all of that. All right. Not too bad though. Kind of weird right here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I, if I go in a different direction. I don't want to put it on too thick because, oh, here. It'll take forever to dry. Plus, I don't, I don't want that to much of a dimension, you know. And I think when you get too much, it. This looks weird. All right, I think. All right, I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and peel the tape. And there you have it. All right, so I'm going to go wash this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so that stencil rinsed off perfectly. So let me get this up so that you can see it's, hope you can see the dimension on it. Um, I really like it. I really like the, um, the texture dimension that you get. Let me, let me put this one aside. Let me get a, another stencil this one is pretty intricate but let's see how it does we can just use whatever's left here so we're not wasting what's left on the mat
I have to say that I have not used a um, ton of mixed media, uh, but I am trying to get more into it. Um, so it's kind of a, a learning process. Um, I got some Vicki Booten foundation paper uh, to try. And, um, you know, I do have all my mousses and stuff that, so. It's, all right, so this, like I said, is really intricate, but we'll see what happens. And then it's also been sitting here, so. And it's getting a little, you can feel it's not as smooth going on as it was before when it was. So it's not something that you could, um, you know, just keep, keep using, you know, doing, uh, because it is, uh, starts to, does start to dry. Um, you know, like you couldn't do multiple projects. You have to do a little bit, you know, you want to do enough that you're, you have enough for your project without having a lot of leftover that you eventually have to get rid of. I think we're going to have just enough for this stencil though. No, oh, that'll be good. This one is super detailed, so let's see what this looks like. Oh wow, that turned out really nice with all that detail up and it thickening up. Look at how pretty that is. Hope you can see the, the dimension. So it does take a while to dry all the way through. So it's, um, you know, you're gonna have to do it and then put it away and work on something else. You can heat dry it. Um, you know, but I think air drying is better. Um, I always worry that once you're dealing dealing with something this thick um, and you're using the, the heat, uh, you know, um, the dryer, that it's going to end up scorching. Um, and then you got a ruined project after you've done something so nice. So I love this, though. This would be really pretty and purples and stuff. So I'm going to put these to the side so that they could both um, dry. And then let me show you what I tried yesterday. Um, oh, let me go put this in water real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, so while these two are drying, as I said, I went and got everything in water and washed everything. So these are the ones that I made yesterday. And um, here's the little uh, dots. And you can probably see the texture better now that they're dry. And then these stars. So, um, you know, and you don't have to use it with a stencil. Um, you can, you know, use it on just a background, um, with the different combs and stuff and just make patterns, um, you know, just on the back, uh, the front of a card or even, you know, uh, a scrapbook layout. Um, you can do, you know, a lot of stuff. So don't think it's just for stencils, but I do plan on using it a lot with my stencils because I have a lot of stencils and I love stencils, you know that. So, um, yeah, so that's it, Cloud Whip. Let me know in comments 
if you've used this before or you saw it and you were thinking about it. Uh, if you used it before, let me know how your consistency was. Um, I have uh, high hopes that with this on it and then the regular seal that it came with it, um, it's going to stay fresh. I mean make sure that this is down here you know I can't I must have lost at least 10 embellishing mousse uh, jars that they would I just could not get even with you know water and everything I tried everything that everybody had suggested that I could read and um, I finally gave up because there was just it was, it was too late for them, unfortunately. And like months ago when I did the um, uh, video on washi tape and who knew washi tape had a shelf life? Well, all those mousses and stuff have a shelf life too, especially them because they are water-based and once they dry out, if they've gone too far, it's literally impossible to bring them back to life. So lesson learned and it won't be happening again. So, um, okay. So like I said, in comments, let me know what you think. If you've gotten the cloud whip before, or do you use a modeling uh, paste that's uh, better, you think? It maybe is creamier or whatever, uh, or easier to apply. Um I've only tried this and, and one other one. Um, you know, um, actually, yeah, texture paste, just regular texture paste. I think it was uh, Ranger. Um, so, but I do like the price and that you get such a big jar because if you're doing a lot of mixed media or you're doing the stencils and stuff, um, you do go through it fast. So, so 12 ounces is... Um, you know, a, a good size. So I think that's funny. Warning, it may look like a cloud, but do not eat it. This product is not for human consumption. All right. Well, I don't think there's a problem there because I don't like marshmallows. So, <laughs> um, all right, that's it. So um, let me know, uh, like I said, uh, your thoughts. So, um, thank you uh, for coming and spending time on my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, it didn't hit my goal that I had. Um, I'm only f uh, just a few, less than a handful short of my first goal. Um, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. That's 400 people. Um, it's not a big channel, but I don't have any sponsors or anything, so you know that what I'm saying is the truth. I'm nothing but the truth. So, um, if you haven't subscribed but you've been thinking about it, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the um, bell, and it will send you notifications. Um, that's it. So, I like the Cloud Whip. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try different... Uh, things to color it with. I'm going to try some of the uh, distress sprays, the mica mist, that kind of thing to see how it reacts to that. And ooh, maybe some shimmer powder. Yes, I'm going to try that next because you know I love shimmer powder too. So, all right, so that's it. Until the next time, stay safe, stay well, and happy crafting. I just realized that I forgot to mention something very important, and that is that there is an odor to the Cloud Whip. And if you have fragrance issues, um, vagrance, fag, fragrance sensitivity, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're in uh, an open, um, you know, room, one that air, you've got air flowing, uh, or turn an overhead fan on or something, or use a mask. It's not overpowering, 
but I do have fragrance allergy sensitivities and um, I know if working with it, if I was working with it for a long time, um, you know, doing several um, uh, pieces at a time, um, I would probably end up getting a headache if I didn't have some sort of um, air moving in the room and circulating. So um, I think that's important to know. I always buy uh, fragrance free everything that I can get my hands on just because of that. So um, I thought it was important to note that if you're going to try it, um, that you're aware that it does have an odor. Um, and I can't even, I can't even tell you what that odor is like. It's just, I don't know. It's not an attractive uh, smell. That's, that's for sure. So, all right, that's it.